everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and today I want to talk to you about applications. Applications are essential for organizations today, and securing those applications is absolutely critical. So many times what happens is in an organization you'll have various lines of business, and I'm just going to start writing some things up here. So lines of business, and these are, these are uh, application teams, so I'll just say, you know, app teams. And these application teams um, use a shared infrastructure many times. They have specific domain knowledge. Uh, they have different skill sets, uh, which leads to different tools, sprawl, uh, maybe, maybe various lock-in and different clouds, things like that. And they access a lot of different data plane application services. Um, and so down here on like a data plane level, I'll put uh, data data plane. And these application services are going to range, um, you know, everything from, you know, maybe you have like an app or web server um, and, you know, you'll have uh, things like Kubernetes ingress controller, let's say, um, you know, load balancing services. Let's say you have some DNS uh, services or maybe like CDN, that kind of thing. Um, and so there's a, you know, there's a whole range of data plane application services. Uh, and then you have users, of course, who are coming to access ultimately your application. So I'll just put apps here um, and maybe you have, you know, several of these. So the code for your applications is here. The customer, the users are here. There's all of these you know, different uh, data plane um, application services along the way. And so as application teams, um, you know, do what they do, access this shared infrastructure, these application services, um, you also have uh, what I'm going to call um, centralized teams. So here's uh, centralized teams. You know, this is the teams. And this is, you know, the enterprise. So I'll just put, uh, you know, like an like an enterprise um, centralized teams, enterprise centralized teams. So you have, you know, these teams. These would be, you know, your NetOps teams, your architects, you know, those types of teams. These are your application teams. Um, and so your, you know, your enterprise teams have things that they care about as well. Uh, they need supportable, standardized services that can be used across all of the applications, regardless of where they are, and across all the application teams, right? So there is a technology, a platform called Nginx Controller. And so I'll just put it right here in the middle. Nginx Controller. And Nginx Controller, put a big box around this guy. All right, Nginx Controller is a platform, and the value that it brings is being able to provide a standardized self-service model for application teams um, that, that don't require these application teams to have the exact same skill set across the teams. They don't need to know the infrastructure in depth. They don't have to have specific domain knowledge. Nginx Controller provides that across these teams. And so all of these different teams are going to then interact with um, Nginx Controller. And a part, a critical part of Nginx Controller is what's called Nginx Controller App Security. And Controller App Security uh, provides application protection in, a, in an application-centric and a standardized self-service approach for application teams to be able to protect their applications and so what this, what uh, controller app security provides then is the security teams, like a SecOps team, can then provide guardrails, as it were, um, that then the application teams, like a DevOps, could come and create the application that they need to create, but then they stay within the security guardrails, the compliance guardrails that the security teams have put in place. Um, and they, they can do that using this self-service model. They can add security to the application as it's being developed. Um, the controller app security uses uh, a very powerful, lightweight um, web application firewall technology 
called Nginx App Protect. I'm just going to, I'll put it right over here, um, Nginx App Protect. And Nginx App Protect supports modern team processes like CICD, you know, uh, processes. Um, and it also supports modern um, applications where you, you know, in general, what you want to do is, um, is install or put security as close to the application as possible. And Nginx App Protect is very flexible in that way. It's very lightweight, it's very powerful. So you can put Nginx App Protect very close to the application, which is exactly where you want your security. So Nginx App Protect is the enforcement engine um, that controller app security uh, you know, uses. And so having it as close to the application as possible is critical so that when different security violations come up, then they can then be shown in controller app security. Uh, and so with controller app security, as these security violations come up, then you are given insights into what's going on in the applications. So um, I'll just draw maybe like a little, a little you know, graph here, just a representation. So let's say that these are uh, security violations across time or over time. And let's say that you know, typically you're, you know, there, you've got maybe little valleys, little spikes, but then there's this massive spike that happens in security violations. Well, what you can do is um, get the insights from Control App Security to tell you that, hey, there's a massive spike in security violations that just happened. Um, and so connected to that, is a feedback loop. So I'm going to kind of put, you know, from Control App Security, I'm going to put another feedback kind of loop uh, arrow back to the application teams because these insights then can provide a feedback loop to application teams to show that, hey, guess what? Maybe we can come back and look to see what happened here. And maybe right here, prior to this big spike, uh, you know, there was some kind of, uh, you know, configuration uh, change that happened, right? So then you can start to get some of that insight um, based on the feedback loop that Nginx Controller App Security gives you, right? Um, one of the key components of the feedback loop from Controller App Security about the insights that are happening here is that the, the feedback is, uh, is app-centric. And by app-centric, app what I mean by that is application teams can only see the security incidents or the security violations that are relevant to their own applications, and then they can make changes based on this self-service model. Um, they can make changes to their applications, and those changes are not going to impact any other app teams or any other applications. It's only going to impact their specific app team, their specific uh, part of the application. Um, so it's a, so when we say it's app centric, it's uh, that's that's what we mean by that. And then the um, uh, and then along with the insights and the feedback loop, we also introduce um, what I'm going to call audit capabilities for the security teams. So security teams are going to be able to have a view across the enterprise to be able to know what components of the application have security or have application protection turned on. So let's just say, I'll put a little uh, table here. So let's say a certain application has you know, a, a main you know, just home page, and then let's say they also have, you know, a, a login uh, page, and then let's say there's like a, like a shopping cart. So I'm just going to put, you know, a little box around this. So for each of these, a security team is going to be able to come in and say, hey, you know, which component of the application has application protection turned on? So does this have it turned on? Does this, does this, or maybe this one doesn't? So the security team is going to have that audit capability to look across the enterprise and say where is security applied and where does it need to be applied. Um, and so putting all of this together, then controller app security enables your organization to deploy application protection easily and in a standardized self-service way so that your application teams can have the speed that they need, and then the security teams can have the control and the visibility that they need to ensure compliance that they care about. So with controller app security, it's a win-win situation for your organization.
So hey, thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video with us today. If you like this thing, you can click up here on our DevCentral logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys out there in the community.